and the Southern Snack for life is too short to be serious. All right, folks, I'm at Basket Robbins again trying the Oreo uh, cold brew. I think that's pretty much what it is. It's cold brew and Oreo. But uh, it doesn't look right. I did see Oreo pieces being used to make this, but I thought I was supposed to have whipped cream and Oreo pieces all over top of it. I bit my tongue. It's like, okay, fine. We'll roll with this. But this looks just like a damn iced coffee, folks. I hate to say it. I hate to break it to you. But that's just what it looks like. So, anyways, we're reviewing it. Um, I might have to come back, I guess. So yeah, I mean, if it tastes like Oreo, I'll be here to tell you. If it doesn't, I'll also tell you. I'll tell you that this video is a fail, and the, the title will say fail. So it's supposed to be their cold brew Oreo ice cream mixed with their new cold brew uh, beverage. And then it's supposed to have whipped cream and Oreo crumbles on top. We didn't get that. So but I saw Oreo crumbles at some point, so it must be in here, right? I hope so. I will be really sad if it's not. Subscribe! Okay, I taste something. It's pretty good. It's nice and creamy. With a bold coffee flavor. I do think I get a hint of Oreo. Even though the Oreo is not very visible. It's understandably there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take the straw and see if there's anything down there. I don't think there is. That's odd. I do think I taste it though. Because I don't think that's just coffee. It's solid. It's solid. While it does kind of come short for, from my hopes and expectations standpoint, um, I wouldn't say this is a total fail by any means just because of what it looks like. I know I have my reservations on that, but you know, it's a nice beverage to kind of end off the summer season. Uh, Duncan is really diving into the end here um, as we go March towards the end of August and uh, into September. So, you know, good for Baskin Robbins not jumping uh, fast forwarding into pumpkin spice nonsense, you know? Everywhere seems to be doing that, so. But it's good. It's refreshing. It's bold. And I do get chocolatey Oreo flavors. So, if you have a Baskin Robbins, you like use some cold brew, you like coffee, I think this is a, it, it's a safe bet. It's a good beverage. And it, it won't disappoint you by any means. It has good flavors. So, what would I give? I'd say, I'd say seven and a half. I think it could use more Oreo flavor. But that might be a really big sugar bomb for folks if it did. So anyways, that is my review. I'm sticking to it. And I will see y'all around.